welcome back to the 2021 uke challenge where we're learning how to play chord melody on our ukulele this challenge has several videos and each video gets just a little bit more difficult than the last so start from video one and then come here if you haven't watched the other videos yet now first let me do a demo of the song that we're playing just so that we can get it in our ears and then i'll come back and explain everything So our first position, I would like for you to go to index, middle, and pinky on frets 2, 3, 5. Then you're going to pick the two middle strings and then just E. Then you can do a full strum, by the way pinky is on the fifth fret of A string, and then you can do a full strum. Or you can do a little Muppet hand closing on all four strings. It depends on what sound you like. I think I like a gentle strum where I listen to each string, but I don't necessarily strum hard. I don't do just that, you know, I, I enjoy the sound of every string. So that bit will sound like this. Then I'm going to scoot with that pinky over to the 7th fret and let go of everything else and do a full strum. Then just pick the 7th fret on A. And then scoot back to that position that I was on 2, 3, 5. Get really comfortable with this position even though it's uncomfortable because it's going to be kind of like our home base. We will come back to that position quite a bit throughout the song. So if I say go back to home base, I mean that that zero two three five position okay so again we're just that line we on home base and we're gonna pick the two center strings then E string only then full strum then A string only scoot down to the seventh fret A string only then home base now next we have a D7 I'm doing it like barred plus the middle finger. It doesn't always get like all the strings ringing perfectly and here's where sometimes you have to let go of, of wanting every single string to ring perfectly. The most important string here is going to be A string. So if you can get anything ringing, make sure it's that one. I guess another shortcut you could do is uh, use the index middle ring and then pinky on the second fret That rings pretty nicely so that works But if you have other suggestions, please always share them in the comments. We all grow from each other So then you have that D7 and then A string Then go to a G chord position And then just A string Then go to a D chord position Then A string Then go to home base and just pick the two center strings. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that on the screen for a little bit, but I wanted to say thank you because y'all asked for a more printer printer friendly version of the printable because the one that I had was like beautiful and blue and everything, which is cool if you're using a tablet or if you don't mind using all your ink, but I made a grayscale version because you asked for it and gave me feedback. So thank you for the feedback. I really appreciate that because a lot of people were grateful. So thank you. And then some people asked for me to count while we play things. So let's try and play line one. I know like I just went through a lot right there. 
I'm gonna be counting as we're playing line one. So go to home base and let's try line one. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, home base. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, home base. Three, four. By the way, I'd like to apologize for any background noise. I have a big Mexican family and um, by big Mexican family, I mean there are three people out there. But is, is your family like the screaming type? Like they're right next to each other, but they're so loud. My family is. So I can't go out there and shush them because I know they're going to be louder. That's just family, right? So <laughs> my apologies. My apologies. Let's try line one again. One, go to home base. One, two, ready, go. One. Sound for it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, home base. Three, four. That's a lot of work. By the way, if you um, want to repeat what we just did, I made out timestamps so that you can kind of travel throughout the video or go back in chapters. And I have them also pinned on the top comment below. But, but I do want to mention um, the Elmore pedal. This is a pedal that you can put on the floor as you're watching YouTube videos like this one. And you can go back a little bit or back a lot or forward a little bit or forward a lot depending on how you press the pedal. So let's say both your hands are on your instrument. This is on your feet and you can go back or you can go forward. This connects with anything that receives a Bluetooth signal. So your tablet, your phone, your computer, your laptop, anything, anything that connects via Bluetooth, you can connect this and it can help you with any educational videos. Cause I know like when I'm trying to learn guitar, like I watch guitar channels, my hands are on the guitar. So it's really helpful to have a pedal. I'm going to link it down below if you're interested and this can be used on any video, which is pretty awesome. Okay. Now we're going to line two and the great news is that you've done all of the shapes that you need for line two already that home base and then that D seven. It's not the easiest, but you've already done it. Then go to the G and then go to that D you've done all of this before. You just got to do that little pattern twice. So let's just play through it as a family here we go one two memorize the chord shapes and you've got it one two ready go two three four one two three four repeat that one two d7 three four g one two three Four. Again, if you'd like to repeat that, you can use the timestamps here. Please use them as much as needed. And now I have really, 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 really good news. Line three is exactly the same as line one. So let's just play through it together. One, two, uh, one, two, ready, go. Down to seven. Home base, D7, G, D, home base. Okay, so I have a Patreon account and Patreon is a website where you can support artists and in return, they give you some type of content. So for my Patreon members, you know, like we have the printable for this challenge. I make hundreds of pages for my patrons that I don't give to everyone. The one for the September challenge that we do every year is always free and available to everyone. But in exchange for support, I give my Patreons the printables. And then I'm going to make a play along video from beginning to end that just repeats for the Patreon fam to have that to practice. And then we do live, les live lessons via Zoom where you can turn on your camera if you like to, you don't have to, but a lot of people do. 
And so I teach and I can see you as you're working through it. You can ask questions, you can give feedback. So I would love to have you join the Patreon fam as it supports what I'm doing, but you also get lots of really cool perks. Please continue sharing your posts using the hashtag. I am really loving seeing everybody's content. And actually, let's watch one right now here together. Okay, so we have two different communities. One is on Instagram. So on Instagram, if you have your own like ukulele account where you share your ukulele videos and use that hashtag, I can find you. And then on Facebook, we have a private group called Ukulele. You can request to join. So this is coming from the Facebook group. So let's watch. Yay! This is for a jacker. Vibrato. So smooth. A nice little slow down there. I love this performance. It is really great. Um, this is done on a low G ukulele, meaning that it has um, like a low G string instead of like the high G string. Instead of this, it has. Ooh, so it has a really nice, rich, warm sound. Your ukulele is also really cool. So thank you for sharing your performance. This is really awesome. Patreon member Karen requested some ukulele mugs be added to our Etsy shop, by the way. So I've just added those today. So if you're interested in a mug, look at how gorgeous they are. I try my best to make them really pretty. And there's two different types. One has the enamel type and then the other one has like the painted ceramic on the inside. So I hope that you find something that you love. In today's video, I've been playing the solid MS ukulele from Enya. This is one of my top five favorite ukuleles. <gasps> I should make that video right after the challenge. I'll make a video called the top five favorite ukulele. So this is a solid mahogany. It's all solid mahogany ukulele. It comes in a satin blue, but it also comes in a natural wood finish if that's more up your alley comes with accessories, pre-installed strap buttons, and it sounds really great. And for an, an all solid instrument, the price cannot be beat. Alrighty fam, I'm gonna go edit videos, make some play-alongs for the Patreon fam, and then go on a walk. I hope that you're enjoying the challenge. If you've made it this far in the video, let me know which song has been your favorite so far. And uh, yeah, I have a surprise for you for the next one. It's gonna be good. So I'll see you there. Take care. Ciao.